of Shadrach Biwak, fourth place last year. I mean, it's pretty good, but what are you shooting for this time around? How do you feel about your uh, fitness? I feel pretty good. Um, I'm just excited to be here, man. I'm, I'm healthy. And, you know, in marathon, you know, coming into this, the, the race day and, you know, you've been fortunate to be healthy the whole entire way. During training, it's, it's, it's a big, you know, you've got out the big elephant in the room. So now it's just to, you know, take what I've learned in training, you know, uh, and be smart in the race. And uh, hopefully things will be great. Yeah. How do you feel like your fitness compares to Boston last year? I'm more ready this year than last year, that's for sure. Um, Why? What about what specifically makes you more ready? Last year, I, honestly, last year I didn't even... It rained a lot in Sacramento, so I didn't really even do a lot of training. Mm -hmm. Like, really intense training. Um, and I was sick. I got sick three weeks before. Uh, I didn't run for like eight days. Um, but this wow. time around, everything has been going very well. I'm healthy. I've had great training. Um, um, I feel pretty good. Did you get to train with Ritz at all in this build-up? I did, yeah. I was uh, down in Florida with him for four weeks. Uh, and then the last few days before, uh, before yeah, the beginning of April. Yeah. yeah. So did you like that, having some, you know, high-level training partner like that as opposed to sort of were you doing stuff on your own before? Yeah, I used to train alone. So yeah. for me, having somebody next to me and, you know, you know obviously Dayton is a great athlete, you know, 270 is not easy. Um, so just having somebody there that, you know, because it's tough. Sometimes you just just want to stay in bed and, you know, you have somebody say, oh, it's okay, let's just go for a run here, let's take it easy. Just kind of that mental aspect of it, of just, you know, being able to relax and having somebody, you know, take the lead in a when we're doing a workout or something and then I could just relax and then when sometimes I feel I'm pretty good and I, I can tell me hey, relax just you know tag in and you know, I can pull him through so that that's a big big part of you know this time around for me that I was I was like it was really solid right so so I know you've been top five in a couple majors before but is it intimidating at all? I mean, you go 212 PR, which in New York is pretty darn fast, but a lot of these guys are in like 205, 204, 206, that sort of thing. Is it intimidating at all? You look at that start line and you see like my PRs down Nah, if I was running Berlin, then I'll be, that would be intimidating. Yeah, yeah. But, but Boston or New York, those times doesn't mean anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, not to take it away from what they've accomplished, you know, but this is a way different race. Yeah. You know, so for me, I know that I have more chance to do very well in New York or Boston versus going to those fast flat courses in Europe. So, what's what's the goal for Monday? Uh, you know, if I could, you know, run the way I ran last year, you know, I think I should be fine. Yeah. And what what is does the weather have any impact on how you view the race, or do you think it makes an effect on the race? No, for me, really, it's it's good for me. Why? <laughs> that means it's gonna hold everybody back, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no one person that will try to press the pace in, th what is it, 25 or 30 mile headwind or whatever, Something I don't like know. That, yeah. So for me, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, tag in and just relax and, you know, have them just be with, within the race for as long as I can and, you know, you never know. Well, I feel like nothing wipes the smile off your face. You're pretty Dude, happy it's... about no matter what. Hey, life is good, man. Can't complain, you know. I always try to look at the bright side and, you know, when I'm, you know, and I'm real, you know, like, you know, I know it's going to be, it's going to be a crappy day out there, you know, for everybody, but I think for me, uh, I already got my mind right, like, I know it's going to be terrible, so no need to worry about it. Yeah. Just go over there and do, you know, get, get on with it. Good attitude. So, we'll see. I'm excited, man. Yeah, yeah. me too. Yeah. All right.